Hey happy bees, it's Amanda and in today's video we're going to make a Bible cake topper. If you fancy having a go at baking a Bible cake, I've got a video on that. I'll put a link in the description below as well as a wee card up here if you want to check that out. And of course, as always, I'll have links in the description below for all the materials that you'll need to create this cake topper. So to start out, we've got some white fondant and I've mixed it with some Tylose powder. And I've got a photo frame of my lovely little daughter. I'm going to use that photo frame as a template. So I've traced it onto some greaseproof paper. It's the perfect size. I'm going to roll out the fondant about an inch or so thick. your template on top. I'm going to use this strip tool to create some pages. And I find with the pages the rougher you are with this tool the more realistic the pages look. I'm going to go in with some silver edible paint now and paint those pages. And we only need to paint them on three sides. I'm going to use these alphabet cutters for the lettering. And because these are plunger cutters, they're so easy to use. Once you've all your letters stamped out, go in with some edible paint and leave those to dry. Now we're going to peel off that top layer and the pages part of your Bible should be dry and firm by now. And to create the front cover, I used the original template and then created a larger box around the outside of it. And you're going to need about an extra inch on one side to create the spine for your Bible. I'm going to roll out some fondant and place that new template on top. And using some greaseproof paper, I'm going in with a quilting tool. The greaseproof paper, <laughs> greaseproof paper, <laughs> the greaseproof paper just helps you get a good straight line. Now you're going to brush a tiny bit of water onto your pages and place that front cover on top. Use a knife to straighten up the edges and then you can go in and create some details on the spine as well. Now you don't want the corners of your front cover to flop over so what I'm going to do is use some pins to hold that in place until it dries. Just please remember if you're doing this to take the pins out before you use this on a cake. Time to stick your letters on now with some water. And you don't have to do this part but you know how much I love my edible dust so we're just going to create some shadows and shading using some darker blue powder now. Now using that stripper cutter that we used to create the pages, you're going to place some strips around the outer edge of the bottom of the Bible. Click on that video on your screen now if you want to see the Bible cake tutorial I mentioned earlier. And of course you need to subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when there's a new video.